What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the latest episode on the Charles Media Pod. Thank you for watching and listening. Please subscribe and follow the channel. If you have any thought about this video, please leave your comment down below at the end. So, 2022 Oscar nominations have been revealed and it's here. My instant reaction thought was familiarity, in a way, diverse throughout many categories of movies receiving nomination and a lot of known actors actresses from my knowledge and my favorites have been nominated in 2021 i've seen a lot of movies even thought even the ones i didn't see i was aware of the potential of those films getting nominated i had some movies or performers that i expected to earn a nomination or that i'm in favor of and here are some of the general takeaways who got the who got the most nominations and some context to look forward to in 2022 Oscar. So, The Power of the Dog, the Netflix film dominated with 12 nominations among best picture, best actor, best director, best supporting actor, best supporting actress, Dune with 10 nominations, the adaptation of popular sci-fi novel uh, with 10 Kenneth Branagh's Belfast earned seven nominations, along with Steven Spielberg's adaptation of 1957 musical West Side Story. And Steven Spielberg, one of the greatest filmmakers of all, not surprising he got the nomination. And my personal favorite biography film that I really loved in 2021 watching was King Richard with six nominations, Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Supporting Actress among and Will Smith, first nomination in 15 years. First since The Pursuit of Happiness, his portrayal of Richard Williams, the father of Venus and Serena Williams, I thought he was about as authentic as it gets in that movie, and the movie was phenomenal. And some history also as well. Drive My Car is the first ever Japanese film to score an Oscar Best Picture nomination, Yusuke Hamaguchi, the director of the film, is now become only the third Japanese filmmaker to be nominated for Best Director. And among other nominations of that film, Best Adapted Screenplay, Best International Future Film, and not surprising, Denzel Washington with his 10th Oscar nomination for his portrayal in The Tragedy of Macbeth, extending the record he holds as the most nominated African-American actor, some of the others, Don't Look Up and Nightmare Alley, tacked on with four, four nominations each, each nominated for Best Picture. And some of the snubs and surprises in this Oscar nominations, Jennifer Hudson uh, in Respect, who played Aretha Franklin, Not Consideration, Nicolas Cage and Pig. Oh, how about House of Gucci just only receiving just one nomination, makeup and hairstyling. No costume design, maybe production design, not even that. How about Lady Gaga being passed for Best Actress? And also on Jared Leto, who I thought he put together a good show and polarizing portrayal in that one. And Lady Gaga not getting nominated. I thought she was vintage and she absolutely stole the show. That was a snub. And, and the sense around the 2022 Oscar nominations for Best Actresses, Penelope Cruz in Peril of Mothers and Kristen Stewart and Spencer were maybe two surprising nominations for this year's Best Actress. Despite the second most overall nomination in this year's Oscar with 10, Dennis Villanueva, the director of Dune, then scored the... Best Director nomination. How about Ariana Grande and Kid Cudi for Best Original Song for Don't Look Up? Or how about Nothing from The Last Duel, which I thought was a phenomenal uh, medieval epic uh, drama movie directed by Ridley Scott. I thought the performance in that movie was uh, top-notch and the editing in that movie, how it was made, was very good. Didn't get any nomination, which was uh, very, very surprising. No love from the Oscar Academy. So that was a surprising. So those are my general thoughts on this movie. So my uh, overall evaluation of this Oscar is 
I think it's going to be very good. And it's going to be better from last year's like underwhelming 2021 Oscar. So, and I like the, how the category is very, very spread around more, a lot more diversity involved in these movies getting nominated, which I really love. So the categories that I'm looking forward to in this year's Oscar is Best Actress and Best Actor. I think Jessica Chastain in the eyes of Tammy Faye, I think she has a probably has, she has the best shot of winning it. And I think I'm hoping, I'm rooting for Will Smith and King Richard to win this one because I thought he played he portrayal of Richard Williams, the man who coached and developed Venus and Serena and Williams. He played it so 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 well. He was he nailed it. He nailed it. I'm looking forward to those categories more. Other ones are like, mm, let's see what happens. But I'm looking forward to this 2022 Oscar, who is going to be, I think it's going to be better. It's going to be better. So there you have it. Those are my general consents and thoughts on 2022 Oscar nominations. And what do you think about this? I'm looking forward to how this thing's pan out. What do you think about this video? Please leave a comment down below. Subscribe and follow the channel. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see you next time and take care.